today we're going to talk about speed training. A lot of people have been asking me about it. I've been hitting the ball a little further than normal, which is great. I've probably increased my club head speed by game speed by about five miles per hour. And that equates to around 15 yards of carry. Um, so probably before I really started working at it, my game speed was probably about 105. Now it's right around 110. And if I'm hitting the ball solid 110, 4,000 feet in Reno, the ball's flying 290, almost 300 and rolling out. So I'm getting to the par fives a little easier and on short par fours, I can get right up next to the green, get up and down, uh, make more birdies. But basically uh, I use the orange whip and the light speed and then my own club, do three reps with each and you're just swinging all out in practice. The caveat here is don't, uh, don't do speed training in your warm up and then go play. I've done that a couple of times. I hit the ball to the planet. So basically we're just, we're just ripping at it full throttle, not worried about where it's going. Of course, you still, hopefully, you know, you hit it good and everything. So, but we're still working on ball flight laws and principles. So ball flight laws. Yeah. I mean, our goal is center contact, but ultimately it's path. I want to be, you know, a couple of degrees inside and then angle of approach, a couple of degrees on the upswing set up. Um, you know, I still want to be good, solid base, good spine angle, but ball position is forward. And then one of my kind of tricks you'll notice is I keep the club back because it keeps my shoulder square. I noticed as I would move the club up to the ball, cause the ball's on the left foot. Now I would get my shoulders open. And then if I had to keep them, I'd get tilted too back and it was messing up my angle of approach. And there was videos of Mo Norman. And he's got the club back too, like that on the driver with the ball up. And that helped me keep everything square. So that was important. And then, you know, that keeping that lag angle, that downforce pull of the lead arm keeps that lag angle in place for more speed. So, you know, we're kind of there. And then tempo timing rhythm. I mean, my rhythm on these swings is way off, but I still want to feel good tempo on the takeaway. And then I'm going full out in transition. So let's get to it. So I'm going to swing this orange whip three reps. And I'm still trying to get some speed on this one. Then this light speed, swing it as fast as you can without hurting yourself is what I tell my students. We're trying to get this governor off our body so our body will move faster. And it's cardio. All right, I'm working up a sweat here. Get my heart rate up. Now I'm gonna swing my own club. All right. Woo. Now let's hit it. See where I'm at. We're gonna hit three. Let's see. If I can get above 110 in speed training, so that my game speed is around 110. I'll show you the miles per hour there on the last three. All right. That one's 109 on there. We'll put the camera on there. So not bad for the baseline. See if I can get to 112 here by the last three. So as you can see, I mean, I am going full throttle. Woo! I didn't hit that one very good, but I got it to 111. Not great, blood out efficiency. Only 133, so I didn't hit the center face. That was kind of a show, you know. It didn't go great. Kind of like a workout, and I am getting a workout, trust me. I'm heart rate is up, I'm sweating. <laughs> 111 again. All right. And that one, a little spinny again, and not great on smash. Match 134, so I'm not getting the center club. So I'll keep going. I am trying to swing this 
some speed. This thing's great because it's heavy and it stretches you out too. Get our cardio in. Because those that know me, I don't really enjoy doing the cardio. It's boring. Well, this is my cardio. Just your average 54 year old. All right. Whew. My club now. See, I really. Uh, all right. One eleven. Yeah. Stuck. That was actually better smash. That was one forty. Or fish. <laughs> One eleven. I think I'm stuck on. I might be stuck on one eleven today. Ugh. Still one eleven. I got to get one one twelve so I can put on the camera. All right. That's that one had only fifteen spin though. Fifteen hundred. So it's better spin. Better everything. All right. Get this whole body to move. Come on. Let's go. Stretch these shoulders out. I'm sweating. My heart rate's up. It's also a good way to practice under pressure. You'll see one of the putting videos I'm going to put up there. As you practice putting and swinging the orange whip in between to get your heart rate up to 112. Let's go. Nope. I am stuck at 111. So if I was probably playing, my game speed would probably be about 108, 107, 108, 109. It's usually about three less than my speed training. Yeah, 107. All right, one more all out, see if I can get 112. And that's it. I'm gonna really focus on width and down force pull. Yes, 112. I did it. All right. Up and up and up and up and up. You practice all out so that as you go to the course, your normal speed gradually increases two, three, four, five miles an hour. Every mile per hour is about a yard of carry distance. And if like you're carrying it further, you're still gonna get more roll too. And I love that stealth driver. It's the lowest spinning driver I've had between 2000 and 2500 RPM. So I'm actually getting more roll too. So, um, all right, so there you have it. Speed training, kicking my own tail. Uh, if you like the video, of course, please like it. Subscribe for more. I'm gonna start recording more and more videos at the request of my students. And it's just good to have it all out there. And um, so subscribe. And then I'm also offered a new lesson package, the monthly teaching and coaching, uh, where you'll, you'll use the Coach Now app, upload your swing down the line based on whatever you're doing. If you're out playing, it doesn't have to be on the range, just whatever you're doing. It'll get the notification to me. And then we'll have a monthly conference call for 15 minutes. Um, when your swing goes in the portal, I'll go in there and put my notes on it. I may notice your alignment may be a little off or your ball position a little off or if you've been my student for a while, I'll say, hey, you know, last time we talked, we worked on principle one, set up spine angle. And I might be like, hey, you're a little hunched over or whatever. And I'll throw those notes in the app and you'll be like, all right, dialed in, make that adjustment. And then in our call, we'll 
talk about whatever, whether it's nutrition or whatever, go from there. All right.